What if I told you there's a secret feature hidden in Photoshop that can take your photos from looking like this to like this in three easy steps? It blows my mind that Adobe hides this feature in Photoshop when it's one that lets you edit your images in such a brand new and powerful way. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how this secret hack unlocks an incredible editing technique that will make any kind of photo pop. I'll show you the three steps to get amazing results with it in minutes, and I'll show you how you can use it to make your photos stand out from the crowd quicker and easier than ever. First, it's important to understand just why this hidden technique will actually boost your image's wow factor, because many photographers think that for an image to pop, it has to be full of bright, highly saturated colors, full of contrast and detail. But the problem with that is that when everything tries to grab your attention, nothing stands out. So your images are still gonna end up looking flat, no matter how colorful they are. So what is the secret to making your photos stand out and pop with a stunning 3D look and feel? Well, I first learned of it when studying how landscape painters like Constable, Bierstadt and Compton were able to create such a sense of depth in their landscapes when painting onto essentially a flat two-dimensional canvas. Because they all understood that when looking off into the distance, light, color and contrast they all behave differently on distant objects compared to close ones. So in other words, light and color on the same rock or tree, it's gonna look different if it's 20 yards away compared to if it's half a mile away. And when you can inject this into your photographs, that's when you're gonna feel like you can step right into them and that's when your photos will truly pop. So I'll share exactly with you how distance affects light, color, and contrast, but first you need a way to easily make adjustments that automatically differentiate between the foreground and the background of your photos. And that's where this secret Photoshop hack comes in. When you make, say, a curves adjustment that adds contrast to your image, it can affect the whole image or you can use layer masking to brush where you want the effect to appear. But until now, nothing has given us the ability to automatically affect the image based on distance. So here are the three simple steps that you can follow in Photoshop to unlock this secret technique and inject your images with a real wow factor. The first step in this process is to take advantage of one of Photoshop's new AI filters, but we're gonna use it in a way that Adobe did not initially intend. So you can start with opening your image in Photoshop and then go to Filter, Neural Filters, Depth Blur in the menu. When that's done, you can just check the output depth map only box, select new layer in this dropdown, and then hit OK. And the result is this weird looking black and white image in a new layer just above your background layer. But how exactly on earth are we gonna use this thing to make our image pop? Well, here's where it gets good. Next, we're gonna to go to the channels panel. Then on your keyboard, hold control on a PC or command on a Mac and then click once on the RGB channel at the top, just here. Next in the menu, go select, save selection, name it background, click OK. Then again in the menu, we'll go select, inverse, and then once more, select, save selection, name it foreground, hit OK. So now you've got everything set up to start using this incredible technique. But first, one small cleanup task back on the layers panel, which is to delete this black and white layer. And with that done, you're now ready to start creating adjustments that can target the background and the foreground separately. But a quick word of warning, there's one mistake that I see a lot of photographers make with what comes next, and it wrecks all of the hard work that they've put in. So I'll show you how to avoid this mistake after we've made our first couple of adjustments, just so that it makes a bit more sense. So step three, now that you have your foreground and your background masks prepped and ready to use, it's time to put them to work. So remember a few minutes ago, I said that light, color, and contrast they all behave differently depending on how far away something is. Well, the general rule that you can follow to use this is that things generally get lighter and have less contrast and are less saturated in the distance, and they're darker, more contrasty, and more saturated in the foreground. So a tree that's close to your camera is typically gonna be darker, more saturated, and have more contrast than the same tree way off in the distance. So to make a photo pop, you can simply edit according to this rule using the foreground and background masks that we just prepped. Here's how you can darken the foreground without affecting the background. In the channels panel, command or control click on your foreground channel, and now go to the layers panel, add a curves adjustment layer, and use it to darken the image like this. And notice how the foreground is getting darker more than the background is. And that's all down to the foreground mask that got added to the curves adjustment. So now let's flip that around and make the background lighter without affecting the foreground. Command or control click on the background channel in the channels panel. And then back in the layers panel, add a curves adjustment layer and increase the image brightness. And you know, see how quickly we've injected this photo with way more depth just with these two simple adjustments. 
And from here, you can use these foreground and background masks on any adjustment layer that you like from saturation, curves, levels, brightness, contrast. The possibilities really are limitless. But the thing is, even if you start using this hidden Photoshop hack, then you know, there's one editing mistake that I still see people making. And if you make the same mistake, then what I've shown you here will be wasted and you'll still be left with flat, lifeless images. So watch this next video to discover what this editing mistake is and how you can avoid it at all costs.